What is up my internet BFFs? This is Karina and I'm so excited today to be showing you more tights outfits. I do have a couple of tights outfits lookbook on my channel so if you haven't seen them yet make sure to check them out. I don't know why I just cannot get enough of tights and tights outfits in general. So these tights are the ones that I'm wearing for this video. Keep in mind that if you live in an area that's really really cold feel free to use my tights hack and that is layering on a skin colored fleece tights underneath and then throwing something sheer like this over it. That way you can stay warm and still like rock your favorite tights outfits. Thank you Misguided for sponsoring this video. I took a look on their website and guys there are some crazy cyber week sales going on so you don't want to be missing that. Okay starting off with this first look. So I'm just wearing this like blazer dress that honestly I got it because it reminded me so so much of the one that Ko Young was wearing and it's okay to not be okay. Thumbs up this video if you saw that drama you know what I mean. So this blazer dress actually kind comes without this inner lining here which I'll get to in a second. It's a deep v-neck over here and there's like blazer buttons on here that you can button and unbutton and on the sides I really like how there's like accordion pleats so it's really really classy. The length is not too bad at all and I think the shape of the dress is just so flattering for all body types. I think this look is perfect for like a classy night out paired with some loafers or even some heels if you want. Feel free to throw on something like a white turtleneck under or in my case I'm going for like a white shirt under except it's not a full white shirt. It's one of the these things that look like a bib. So it's kind of like a fake collared shirt for all of your layering purposes and you don't want to be actually utilizing your good collared shirt because it's going to get all dirty and wrinkled. I featured this item in my testing viral Amazon products video so if you haven't seen that yet make sure you check it out. Ta-da! I'm just throwing the whole look together with this neutral colored gray coat. So this coat actually is the same style as the other misguided coats that I always always feature on my channel. You guys might have seen it in my other lookbook so I have the camel one, the pink one, the black one, now I have a gray one. It's just so versatile and I just find myself reaching for this jacket like over and over again because it literally goes with all your outfits. I got the size US 2 and it fits me really really well. The pockets came sewn on together so thank you to those of you who tell me you can actually take a pair of scissors and like cut the pockets lines open because if not we're gonna be stuck with like really cold hands this winter and I hate that. It might look a little bit messy once you cut it open but yeah I promise it is doable for this jacket at least. For accessories I'm going with a little basic black bag and also this really warm and fuzzy and cozy what is this called? A scarf? <laughs> Sometimes like I just like start talking and I don't know the end to my sentences until I get there and then I forget what word I was going to go for for the end of the sentence and I just like stop talking. I feel like these two go really well together because they're the same color palette and like this is just like the perfect accessory to have especially for fall and winter. It's just like so cozy. Okay for this next look I went with something a little bit more furry and fuzzy. So this inside sweater is like a mohair like white really really fuzzy sweater. I'm not wearing it on the inside and it's not like scratching my skin now so that's a good thing. And pairing it with this faux leather pleated skirt because faux leather is like one of the hottest things this fall and winter. And I actually think pleated skirts like run in my DNA. For the skirt I'm wearing a size US 2 which is an extra small and all my measurements including like my height, my waist and hips are in the description box down below so make sure you click open to check it out. Also this jacket is so Stop. This jacket feels like, okay, you know like your stuffed animal you had when you were like a baby, a toddler, I don't know, a teenager, I don't know, like an adult. This feels just like it. I don't know if you guys can see, like the texture of the inside is also the same like teddy bear material. Oh my god, it is just so soft. There's pockets on the front here and the whole thing is kind of like faux suede on the outside with this teddy material as like a Sherpa lining. So honestly it just makes me feel like a polar bear, like a really cute one. For shoes I'm going with my Mark Fisher Sherpa boots. These are from three or four years ago and I think Mark Fisher has stopped making them. But if you check the description box I will be linking something very similar to it. And to match the shoes I'm going with a bucket hat. Okay I know Bucket hats are all the rage right now and you guys are so nice. I don't know if you guys are just being nice to me, but you said that I look good in bucket hat on my other video. So here I am trying to make it work again. I don't know. I just feel like my head is too big for hats in general, not just bucket hats. If you are like one of those girls on Insta who are like famous and like look really good in a bucket hat, I'm so jealous of you. Another way you can style your tights is by pairing them with sweater dresses or in my case, a shirt dress plus a sweater dress. You can also wear the sweater dress 
definitely on its own but i feel like if i did that like i would be really cold around my shoulder area but then the rest of my body would be really really hot so i just threw on this shirt dress from under but you don't have to you can also do like a turtleneck or anything else that you have just saying i really really like this color palette white pink and this is also great for those of you who are wondering how to style more vibrant or brighter colors especially for fall and winter because i just think it's like a breath of fresh air whenever someone is in like a pink or like a purple or like a lavender or like a pastel color for fall and winter it's just so different from all of the neutrals and the darker colors that you're seeing so i'm just throwing on this cream teddy jacket i have featured this in another misguided video so if you haven't seen that yet go check it out this is like the holy grail okay of like teddy jackets it is so warm and so thick and the length is just perfect and every time i throw it on i just feel like a really trendy and fashionable polar bear okay this next look is what i would call like bad gal karina obviously i'm not as bad gal as uh, some of you real bad gals out there i don't know anytime i'm wearing like faux leather stuff i instantly equate myself to like a model spy look those of you who saw my triangle on my aesthetics video you guys know what i'm talking about so this jacket is kind of like a faux leather blazer coat kind of thing going on. It's lined on the inside and there's like button closures down here, which if you do it, it's gonna cinch in your waist and make it look so snatched and I love it. The length is like a really, really good length. Goes down to my thigh area, covers my skirt completely. And it also has like shoulder pads, but like not too much. So still gives you some kind of support, you know, make your shoulders look really bad shoulders. <laughs> But like in a good way but it doesn't have pockets you guys how do you know which pockets are cut openable and which are not because i honestly think this one is not <gasps> should we try it okay here goes i hope here's another here oh <gasps> okay i just like cut like a few stitches open and the rest just opened by itself there's pockets fully take that statement back get this jacket because i freaking love the pockets in there and i just love it and you can totally cut it <laughs> Just pairing it with a simple black sweater underneath and a zebra skirt because zebra patterns are also really, really in right now. And then also pairing it with these really badass looking boots with a pocket on it. Don't know why boots needs pocket. You guys let me know if this is useless or cool. This look is giving me major Ari vibes from a few years ago where all she wore were like oversized hoodies and oversized puffer coats paired with really tall over the knee boots. This puffer jacket is like supposed to be an oversized fit because I got it in US 2 which is extra small and yeah it fits me pretty big and relaxed like this. I think that's just the way it's supposed to feel. First of all it's so so warm. The insulation on the inside it's definitely like a thicker padded jacket than some of the other padded jackets that you might have seen online the color is like a really pretty like mauvey kind of like toned down rose color it managed to make me feel like i'm a petite girl okay and i'm 5'7 for reference moving on to these over the knee boots i gotta be honest with you guys i'm not really digging this i mean i have so many pairs of over the knee boots if you guys see my boots collection then you know what's up but these ones are just not it for me first of all they're extremely long like it comes almost like all the way up my leg may or may not be a good thing for you if you're looking for a pair of boots that can like double as a pair of pants then maybe these ones are for you but it's also very thin and the material is kind of like a stretchy waterproof umbrella material you can even hear the sound can't you there's a zipper on the side here and a really, really tall but chunky heel. So I think overall the size is very true to size. I got it in a size 8. I'm just not feeling the fact that it doesn't like hug my legs curved. It just feels like it's going to slide down as I walk, you know, because there isn't much to like grab onto. And the inside is really smooth too. So less friction equals more sliding down. Alternatively, if you think that jacket is way too poofy for you, you can go for something like this. This is just a knit version of that puffer jacket. It's also a really pretty pink color and it's like gigantically knit together. It's so chunky and it feels so heavy. And it's actually a hoodie, so it's kind of like cozy comfy perfect for like lounging around at home or like you know attending all of your zoom days and stuff what do you think do you guys like this one better or the puffer jacket more okay so this is the last look and before i show you guys what's under i just want to say that i thought for a really long time if this look should even be on this video because i know that you know 2020 and with everything that's happening right now not a lot of people are like going out and partying unless you're in like an area where there's like no lockdown like no restrictions but you know what let me show you anyway so this is just a bodycon dress it's like this really pretty like light purple color and it's like a true bodycon dress because it really does like hug all your curves and i think it's going to look really flattering on all body types and this part here like 
I don't know how I feel about this thing here. I mean, there's like a mesh area. While this is unique, I don't know if I actually am digging this. What do you guys think? Do you like the sleeves being like this? I think it gives the dress a little something though, you know, otherwise it'll just be like every other bandage dress. In case you don't like it, you can always take a pair of scissors and just like snip this part off because once you snip this part off, it's all gone. Okay guys, here's what the dress looks like with the sleeves cut off. So I have them taken out here and just pinned at the back here, so I haven't actually cut it off. But yeah, this will be essentially what it looks like. Do you guys like it with the sleeves on or the sleeves off? Let me know in the comments down below. And the length is really not too bad, so you can be really wearing this, you know, if you're out to like party, you know? My Singapore friends, are you ready for all the clubs to be open again? If you're feeling chilly in this dress, you can do what I'm doing here and pairing it with this fur coat. This fur coat is like the most extra fur coat. I own. It's faux fur, of course. Um, it's just this like dark gray material and it is so soft. And it's also lined on the inside with some kind of like padding on the inside too. So it's not just like a sheet of fur with nothing. And there's pockets at the front and it also provides a reasonable amount of warmth for the materials. But most importantly, I just think it makes you look super extra fancy. This will definitely be my next like grocery shopping outfit. Okay guys, that is it for this video. Let me know which outfit is your favorite with tights and also let me know if I should be doing like a party outfits lookbook. I have always enjoyed putting together, you know, party looks for the past few years, but just not sure if it's gonna apply to this year. So yeah, let me know in the description box down below and happy shopping. Bye, see you in my next video.